Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have a fun design by Steve Good to cut out and help bring in fall 2020. Fall is right around the corner, just a few short weeks away. We're going to be experiencing crisper mornings, cooler weather. It's going to be hoodie weather. Got a lot of hoodies to wear, different um, varieties, and then we're also going to see pumpkin spice flavored everything virtually show up in every way, shape, or form, from food to drink to decor all that the leaves are going to start changing and nature is going to bring forth its beauty and that is the subject of the project i've already got the pattern printed out and attached to my material with clear packing tape and this is quarter inch plywood and the project depicts a deer family out in nature really awesome out in the woods again i associate fall with animals and nature and being outside seeing the beauty of all the colors changing and the actual pattern is designed in a leaf so that's a really good design by Steve Good. Again we're going to cut this out of quarter inch plywood and then we're going to make the backer board out of some dark walnut I milled down to around half inch thickness. I really like this piece of wood but it's got a lot of knots and imperfections in it and I don't think I can get any good scroll saw project out of it but for a backer board it'll work perfectly. So now I'm going to set this aside, take the piece with our scroll work and head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes, and get started. And over here on the drill press, we are going to begin by using a tiny drill bit and drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting over on the scroll saw. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling, beginning with some of the smaller interior cuts first. I am using number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting through the quarter inch plywood exceptionally well and they will also cut through the dark walnut exceptionally well. The pattern is designed by Steve Good and if you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in the free pattern catalog. just a great little project to bring in the beginning of fall 2020 and as you can see on some parts of the scrolling I'm just taking my blade in and bringing it back out without doing a full cut and that is just the veining work that's in some scroll saw patterns and I think it just adds a great detail to a project Cutting out the forest here. And when I get done with the actual cut, you will see me do some of the veining work between the trees. Here I am doing it. You see me going in and then just backing the blade out. It just puts a line there and a nice visual and an added detail to projects. And again, I think it really adds character to them. Now we are beginning our final interior cut and when we do this we will do the final outside cut which will release the piece from the wood. If you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to my social media is down in the description box below. Now we're beginning that final outside cut which will release the project from the wood. And then we're going to take it over to the workbench and draw out our backer board using the washer trick that I've showed you guys before. And I'm just laying the piece down on the backer board and positioning it and using a small washer and just pressure on the workpiece and light pressure on the fine tip sharpie and just going around and getting a perfect border for the backboard. Then we'll head over to the scroll saw and cut that out and then all the scroll work will be done. I usually draw the backer board line with a pencil very lightly but I wanted it to show up on camera and I used the fine tip sharpie 
you can use whatever you want to trace out the backer board. If you use a marker, it will just require a little bit more sanding if you leave any of the lines. But here we are coming around the other side of the backer board. And then all of the scroll work will be done. And we will head back over to the workbench and get a preview of what the project's going to look like. And then take it over to the other workbench and do sanding with the palm sander with 100 grit sandpaper. Front and back of both the dark walnut and the 1 quarter inch plywood. And then we'll come back over to the main workbench and use some finer grit sandpaper for detail sanding. And then I'll use Gorilla Wood Glue to glue the piece to the backboard. And I will use spring clamps and wooden strips to hold everything in place. The strips just add pressure to the middle part of the scroll work. And I let that dry around an hour. And I came back and removed the clamps and I took it outside to clear coat it with clear polyurethane and I gave it two or three good coats and let it dry out in the sun and the project was complete. And here we have the completed deer leaf nature scene. I think it turned out real good. The two colors are contrasting and really make this project pop and then the clear coat really brought an added character to it. It brought the grain of the dark walnut and then the colors of the lighter plywood to the forefront and really makes this project pop. There's some nice veining details in the tree and in the deer, their legs and all just showing off what a scroll saw can do. I'm really happy with this project. It took me around 30 minutes to cut this project out. Um, the scroll work and then the backer board and then of course we had to sand everything then we had clear coating time, glue up time, well glue up time and then clear coating and then we had to wait for all that to dry um, so all in all around three or four hours in this project in total but squirrel work didn't take no time I hope you guys like this project. Fall again is right around the corner and I thought this was just a beautiful little project to help bring in fall 2020. I hope you all have a happy rest of summer 2020 and then I hope you all have a very happy and safe fall 2020. Of course, with fall, you have Halloween and Thanksgiving. And then Christmas will be here for you know it. And the holidays and the new year and winter. So I'm um, really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to an amazing autumn and fall time here. Looking forward to the leaves changing and being outside. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design. That's about all for this video. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.